Thank you for joining us today. I'm Rudy Stebby, and welcome to episode 22, Backing Up Files and Folders in Windows Vista, here on Help Desk TV. Too many people don't think about backing up their data until it's too late, and the data has already been lost. This shouldn't ever be the case, but unfortunately it is. Windows Vista contains a reliable backup and restore solution for both data files and the entire computer. We begin with a manual file backup and recover wizard which copies data files, but not programs or settings to your backup drive. To get started with the file based backup, launch the backup and restore center found in the start menu under all programs and maintenance. Then click the backup files button. Click continue at the user account control prompt. In the first step of the wizard you must choose a location to store the backup. You can save a backup to an internal or external drive, a recordable CD, DVD, or a network share. The wizard auto selects the local storage offering the most free space. In this case this would be our external USB drive. We strongly advise against storing backup copies on the same drive. In the event of a hard disk failure, not only do you lose your files, you also lose your backup at the same time. Select Next to continue the wizard. In the second step, you select which drives to include in the backup. If you only have a single drive, you will not see the step and will jump directly to the next step. For those of you with multiple drives, go ahead and select the drives you want backed up and then click Next. In the next step, select which types of data files you'd like to back up. Although the wizard doesn't offer any way to fine tune exactly which data file types to back up, you won't have to worry about missing anything. Just leave every data file type checked and Windows Backup will be overly thorough and back up all known data types plus anything it can't recognize. Moving the mouse pointer over any category displays help text for that category. After making your selections, click Next to continue. You're now asked how often you want to create a backup. Once you've completed your first full backup, the automatic backup strategy will only back up new and changed files in subsequent backups. Here it is suggested that you automatically back up at least weekly. Click Save, Setting, and Start Backup to continue. The backup program immediately begins creating your backup file. Once the backup has successfully completed, click Close. After the first time you run a backup, the display in the Backup and Restore window changes to indicate when the last backup was performed and where it was stored. I hope you enjoyed today's Help Desk TV. If you have a comment about this program, a question, or a shortcut you would like to share with me, send me an email message to feedback at helpdesktv.ca. Thanks for watching.